What's going on everyone? It's Brett Settles with another entry in the Did You Know series. And today I want to talk about some of the tools that may not be so obvious out of the gate, but we're always kind of meant to work with each other. Um, and it's a few little toggles that will enable you in this video to overlay 2D with Clash results. So the way that our software has always worked is there has been a 2D and a 3D space. And whenever you leave one environment into the other, there is no resetting of the view or anything like that that happens in 3D. So you can often prep 3D and then bring 2D into the scenario and with the new clash detection tools, lock the camera and the section. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to kind of walk through this somewhat advanced way to get a very valuable view on your project. So I'm going to go ahead and open up clash detection. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to make sure that we clear all of our filters and we're going to jump back into the actual test area. So what we're going to do is, is we are going to look for a mechanical versus structure test. We can see it right here. I'm going to go ahead and open that. Now, when I open this, I'm going to see uh, quite a few things going on, issues in progress, items that have been approved, some items yet to be reviewed. Now, what I want to do, though, is, is I want to come up here and let's say that we want to overlay a level six floor plan with the clash coordination that's going on with that. We can simply come here and say level six and select this and then activate our section. What's going to happen is, is we're going to see level six and all the clashes in level six. Now, maybe we want to make this transparent. So we have our tools over here where we can isolate the clash or isolate with transparency. We'll go ahead and do that get this view here showing us all of these clashes on level six. So how do we relate this to a drawing very quickly? Well, we can simply go to 2D, level six. Here we can see that we've got, you know, all sorts of various plans here. So we can say level six ceiling plan, take a look at that and actually overlay that. And you'll see that it will allow us to overlay that. And the 3D still is in clash mode. So I can scroll through here, take a look at any of this. I could drop this potentially down here. Let's make sure that we're seeing some of those clashes. Even detach that and pull this up. And what this allows us to do is hit that X and now we're actually looking at a top-down view with all of the level six clashes. As we begin to toggle with our clashes, we just want to make sure that we lock our section box. This is going to allow us to look at each individual clash with the drawing overlay. As you can see here, we can jump, we can still see the drawing overlay. Now, with some of our other tools, we can go back to a top-down view of this if we wish. And we can still see all that. If we're looking for more of an overall view of, say, what's going on in this floor, we can then use this toggle to lock the camera. That's going to allow us to choose all of the clashes, and we can see those in there now. Or we can show individual clashes and have those show up directly on the screen. As we jump through here, we can see those popping up. and getting us that overlay view where we can actually see what's going on. I can activate all of it. And then once again, I see all the clashes and I can even turn this view up on its side, toggle through the different transparency modes, the ability to isolate, and lots of other things that are going to allow us to identify exactly where this information is, giving you more context into the project.